This thing is equipped with a V8, standard like a GT, Mustang GT. The difference is that this has the California package. So what is the California package? And that's what we're gonna talk today. And most importantly, we're going to compare it to the Kia Stinger GT. These two vehicles are almost within the same price range. And that's what makes special this competition. On one side, we have the American Mustang, and on the other side, we have the Korean Stinger GT. Fantastic vehicle as well. So, what does the Mustang offer? Well, first of all, it is a V8, naturally aspirated, and most importantly, out of the two, the Mustang has a manual transmission, and it is a rear-wheel drive, and it is a convertible. So, for summertime, like today, you could have some fun. I'm just not putting it down because I don't want the stones just keep hitting the car on the inside. But here's what this thing offers with the California Special. First of all, you have the scoops on the side to give it that performance looking. You have the badge in the back that says California Special. And you also have the option to get an automatic transmission. In this case, we have a six-speed manual transmission, which it is delicious. And on top of that, the car offers on the inside the beautiful seats that have the uh, GTCS, uh, which stands for California Special badge located. You have the stitches on the side to give you the idea that you're in the California Special. A lot of people have asked me, like, what does a California Special stand for? And it's a package that's been offered in the Mustang for quite a while now. In this case, they've come to Canada for this year. It's an amazing package, and Canada starts about $2,000 Canadian or so, and it gives you quite a lot of extra features. In terms of tech features compared to the Stinger, what you're missing in here is, most importantly, you don't get a 360 camera with this package. You only get a backup camera. You do get an Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and heated seats and ventilated seats as well. We have a full digital cluster, which you can change different modes as well. A fantastic vehicle all the way around, and makes a ton of horsepower. It sounds really amazing. Big brake kit in the front, four pistons in the front, single pistons in the back. Unlike the Kia Stinger, which offers a full big brake kit in the front and two pistons in the back. So you get better grip of those brakes. And most importantly, they're Brembo. In here, I believe they don't have the badge, but I'm assuming it's something made by Brembo as well. This vehicle, it's the Mustang. There's nothing like an old Mustang. This is for sure. The car is fantastic all the way around. Tons of fun. You have drag mode with this, Sport Plus. You can change the comfort mode for the steering to Sport Plus as well. The brakes are fantastic in this vehicle. The tires are nice and warm up. Beautiful. You still have two seats in the back, although I don't think they're the best 
you can't fit two adults unless you push this forward, especially with me in the front, I'm 6'2". But overall, this thing is just brilliant just the way it is. That's what makes this very special in my opinion. And that's what I love about this. I had the opportunity to have this for a full week and it was beautiful sunny day and I was able to enjoy this. This is what I love about this car. You get to enjoy it even in summertime like this. You can also get a hardtop Mustang GT. California Special is a convertible, so that's something to keep in mind. And this is the 2022 Kia Stinger GT. Both vehicles are within the same price range, so it makes this quite an interesting comparison. The Kia Stinger GT, under the hood, you have a V6 twin turbo making 368 horsepower, power and automatic transmission, and most importantly, it is an all-wheel drive. You can put it in a sport mode and have some fun taking it to a track. It comes with pedal shifters. What does it offer for 2022? Well, here's what you need to know. First of all, for 2022, we have a new infotainment display. Now it also offers the feature of the Kia Telluride blind spot detection, where basically shows the camera on the cluster. And most importantly, it also has the new badge all around us, including the steering wheel. The interior changed slightly as well. This has the suede package, as you can see. And what I love about this thing, we're going to sharp corners, the actual bolster adjusts, so that way it puts you nicely in a perfect position into your seat, and you don't slide left and right. This car is quite impressive. And a lot of people keep saying, well, it's just a Kia. It's so much more than just a Kia, in my opinion. It's so quick when you need it. It's also powered by Brembo brakes in the front, four pistons in the front, two pistons in the back, beautiful red calipers, and amazing wheels all the way around. With the suede package, we have beautiful parts here for the dashboard. The seats as well have a nice suede, um, very nice. On top of that, this is a sport pack which has quite a lot of space in the trunk, massive. So this could be the perfect day-to-day -day vehicle, but it's not as much fun as the Stang. The problem I have with the Kia is that it just doesn't sound as loud as the Mustang. Like you put it down, there's just a bit of the engine noise coming through, but the exhaust is extremely quiet compared to the Mustang. And that's one thing that keeps this thing a little bit behind in my opinion. The Mustang just rumbles nicely, but this thing in a straight line, come on, it just goes. And then break down, fantastic break, break, break in here. Just brilliant. I love this thing, but it's not as exciting in terms of, because of the sound, and most important, the Mustang, you're driving a nice, manual transmission and here you can do the same you can paddle shifter you have right on the steering wheel attached to the steering wheel downshift into third this car can take a beating pretty well downshift again into corner and, uh, oh there's so much grip on this thing the tires are nicely warmed up Brilliant. If this thing was slightly more like loud, would make this an amazing vehicle. Oh, straight to 6,000 RPM, straight corner. Nice, nice. Now it's time to find out which one is the fastest.
Now the next question is, which one do I like the most out of the two? In a straight line, the Mustang is not as fast because of the rear wheel drive. If that was an automatic, it could have easily taken it. It comes down to the driver when you're comparing them head to head, uh, especially in a drag race. And I think it, it all come, boils down to which driver can shift faster and better. But in terms of value, I think the Kia Stinger, it's just fantastic all the way around. It's a good vehicle. It's powerful, it's a good looking. You can probably make it more powerful than this, but even the V6 twin turbo makes a, enough horsepower. You can probably tune it, tune it and get some more horsepower. But I think all around, it's hard to say this. It's hard to say which one, uh, even after seeing the, the Stinger just take off on the Mustang. Looking at the Mustang right now, the exhaust sound, the manual transmission. It, it's hard, it's really hard to try to pick between these two because they're, I wish I could just say both are the one that you want, but you can't buy both, you can only pick one unless you can. It's tough, it's really tough. I will say, just because you were at summertime, the Mustang would be my choice because it's summertime and the exhaust sound, it's so good in that that machine it's it's a mustang you can't go wrong with that thing it's quick off the line when if you know how to drive it but most of the time the real drive is just spinning i will go i will say i think my opinion the mustang will be my choice at this point it's just because we're in summertime and i've got to enjoy that with the top down but the stinger it's such a tough decision to make let me know which one do you like the most out of these two with that in mind thanks for watching cheers